Welcome to the Mindset Mile podcast, the show that'll leave you empowered to take action towards becoming the turned up version of your already awesome self. I'm your host, Aisha Zaza, and I'm so glad you're here. Let's go. Hey fam, happy Monday and welcome back to the show. Mondays get a lot of slack, but I actually love them. I love the routine of the weekdays. Everyone's rested up after the weekend. I love the get after it mentality. And I also like that I get to spend Mondays with you. I know that sounds probably a little cheesy, but I mean that. I love knowing that a sliver of our day, of our Mondays, be it on different ends of the world, are spent together. So today I want to talk about filters, the social media kind. And before I get started, let me just ask you to listen with an open mind. I want to share the journey of how I'm landing on this topic today without you feeling defensive or like I'm talking to you specifically or trying to suggest that you agree with me or you need to follow suit. If you follow me on Instagram, you may or may not have noticed that I don't use filters on my stories. When they first introduced filters, they were much more animated than they are now as Instagram was trying to steal the Snapchat audience. I don't know how many filters are out there now, but I'm sure there has to be thousands, tens of thousands. I don't know. That might be a stretch, but there's a lot. And filters went from being this very obvious and animated thing where you could turn your story into a 15 second glimpse into your day. But as a Disney princess or closer to the holidays, there would be seasonal filters that would give you like heart eyes during Valentine's Day or turn you into the Grinch during Christmas and so on. And while those and many other fun and lively filters are still available, filters really have evolved into things that turn people's faces into photoshopped and oftentimes unrecognizable versions of themselves in kind of a deceiving way. If you have reference to what a person looks like without a filter, then you can tell that a filter gives them a little or oftentimes a lot of extra zhuzh, right? And don't get me wrong, when they first started rolling out these more subtle and pretty filters, I was all over them. It's fun to see what your skin looks like buffed out and how you would look with longer lashes and perfectly tinted lips. And because those who use Instagram know that this is just the way the world turns in the digital space, I think the degree of awareness has moved to more of the subconscious. It's not really a surprise, right, to see anyone using a filter when they take a selfie or they're talking into the camera. Yet, even though we know and can see when someone is using a filter, we still marvel at their enhanced features. What if you didn't know someone in person you follow who always uses a filter and you only ever saw the extra beautiful, flawless skinned, whitened teeth version of them. When it comes to any type of enhancement, be it in real life or online, lately I've found myself teetering somewhere along the lines of do what makes you happy and when it is too much, too much. And again, if this is something you've never thought about regarding filters, then it might sound a little extreme and you might be like, calm down, Aisha, it's just a filter. I didn't come to this place about filters overnight, and to be honest, I'm not sure exactly when the idea was incepted, but I do remember seeing a couple people online talk about and proclaim that they were filter-free, and my knee-jerk reaction was, come on, they're playful and fun. It's not a big deal, but like how so many of our thoughts and our preferences start I didn't realize a seed had been planted that would eventually make me second guess my own use with filters. Hey, really quick. As an avid runner, I'm always looking for running gear that meets the functional and stylish mark, which is why I don't wear any other running glasses besides Gooder. Gooder frames are so lightweight but snug. They never bounce or slip when I'm on a run, a hike, or just out and about running errands. 
I've been loving the Mach G aviators and OG styles as of late, but at 25 bucks a pop, I keep a pair in my car, in my purse, and on the console table with my keys, so I'm never without some good eye protection. All Gooder Sunnies are 100% UV protective and polarized. They're seriously the best and you need a pair. Use code MINDSETMILE to get 15% off your order. And when you order two or anything over $50, you'll also get free shipping. Check them out at Gooder.com. That's G-O-O-D-R.com. And get 15% off when you use code MINDSETMILE. It didn't change my mind for a while, but I do remember the first time I felt just slightly guilty about using a filter, which is kind of funny because who exactly on the other end of seeing my story with a filter was making me feel guilty? Nobody. It was just me. It almost felt like someone knew I was having this internal battle about using a filter and then saw me choose to use one instead of not use it. Like, busted! (laughs) If you're wondering what my point is here, I promise I'm getting to it. Over time, I started to question why, as a society, we've come such a long way from this supermodel, idealistic face and body image that we talk about wanting and crave transparency from people and constantly talk about how nobody we see online is quote unquote real, yet we feel like it's okay to hop online for a quick gym selfie with a beautiful sun-kissed filter. It got me thinking about how I want to show up and what I actually want to believe about myself, which is that I am good enough as is. Even if it's before I've changed out of my pajamas and haven't brushed my hair. Even if it's looking flush, makeupless, and sweaty after a workout. Or even if it's just a day I'm feeling plain Jane. Who freaking cares what I look like at all seconds of the day? Literally nobody. Am I aware that I don't look my best? Yes. Do I still like getting myself done and seeing nice pictures of myself? Also yes. I just don't feel the need to look a certain way all of the time because that is not real life. I don't get to walk around in my real life with a filter on. If I'm running errands first thing in the morning with a top knot and no makeup, I don't get to throw on a filter while I'm at the grocery store or at the park with my daughter or at the gym. So why then would it matter to me to show up for 15 second intervals with a filter that makes me look anything different than how I look the other 86,400 seconds there are in a day? I began to see filters as something that used to be a little confidence boost and now as something that I actually think chips away at it. Because sure, you may look a little glowier to your online audience, but you still have to be the one to look at yourself in the mirror 20 times a day for the rest of your life. And if you're feeling let down by that or underwhelmed compared to your Instagram story self, then first I want to remind you that you are absolutely beautiful enough just as you are. And second, I want to lovingly suggest that you start doing some work inward to start building back that love for yourself and what you see in the mirror. Band-aids like filters may be doing more harm than they are good. To be honest, now when I try filters, I used to think gave me a little boost of confidence. I actually like the way I look less with them. I just feel weird. I feel like I look like an avatar or a robot. And as I begin to wrap up, I just, I want to really reiterate a few things here. These are my own thoughts about filters for myself. I don't judge or care what anyone else chooses to do online. My hope is that by sharing a little bit about my own journey to self-love, confidence, and self-awareness is that it will empower you to know that you too are enough as is and that you can show up exactly as you are without pressure to live up to whatever standards you think anyone else has for you. Most of the time, nobody else even has a standard for us. It's just our own self-inflicted standard that's been induced by what we see everyone else doing. You don't need a filter, love. You've got a message, a beautiful life. You've got life hacks and personal experience and style people love to see and hear about that have nothing to do with a filter. You just keep doing you in a way that seeks fulfillment instead of validation, whichever way that looks for you. 
Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have an amazing week. Tag me in your post so I can see your beautiful face with or without a filter. I mean it. Until next time, make it a great day.